All right, here we go. Now we can start putting some details in here. I've clicked save to make sure that my SketchUp is saved because I got 300 by 100 by 400. I'm happy with all of that. I'm gonna use the eraser and just make sure I don't have any guidelines left anywhere. I can also use this dimension tool and I can grab onto a dimension and I can drag it off a little bit so I can see it a little bit better and I can place it where I need to place it. And I'm good to go with all of that. Now it's time to take a peek here. We are gonna start out by making SpongeBob's eyeball here. So the first eyeball, I'll show you one and then I'll let you do the other ones, or the other one. So it starts out this large cylinder coming out from his face and then it's a small cylinder coming out from the center of the large cylinder. So I'll show you how to do that. When I'm in SketchUp and I click the circle tool, which is underneath the rectangle tool, comes down and goes to a circle tool. I can put a circle on here, but if you notice, I have a hold of the center of the circle first. To get this correct, I need to locate the center of the circle and the radius at the right sizes. So I'm gonna go undo right down here, to undo that, front view, and I have to lay a spot for the center. And I need to measure the center so it makes sense that I am going to use the tape measure tool. Come over here. Oh. I go from the edge to the center of the circle is 75 millimeters. From the top of his head to the center of the circle is 100 millimeters. So I'm picking those two measurements up. So 75 over, 100 down. So I'm going to come across the top of his head until I get to blue midpoint. Come down 100. Come across the side of his head until I get to blue midpoint. Come over 75. There's the center of my circle. Now I need the radius. So if I take a peek over here, I'm looking here. The diameter for this bigger one is 100, which means from the center out, the radius is always half the diameter, so it's 50. So I draw my circle and click on the center point, and now I can drag it out. Now I'm typing a radius. Now I'm going to give you a hint. If you start out with this habit right away, it'll make life a lot easier in the future. But if I'm going in and out, I'm going to click on one of my guidelines. Don't click up here. Click on a guideline and type 50 and hit enter. I will let you do the other side. So again, all you'd have to do is bring this side in for your guideline and do the other side on.